Cinderella In a time long ago, there lived a kind and gentle girl named Ella. Her days were filled with hard work, as she lived with her stepmother and stepsisters who were unkind to her. They made Ella do all the chores and treated her like a servant. One day, an invitation to a royal ball arrived at their doorstep. The prince was looking for a bride, and every maiden in the kingdom was invited. Ella's heart leaped with joy, but her stepsisters were jealous. They tore her dress and told her she couldn't go. Feeling sad, Ella sat in the garden, her tears falling onto the ground. Suddenly, a shimmering figure appeared before her, it was her fairy godmother. With a wave of her wand, she turned a pumpkin into a carriage, mice into horses, and rags into a beautiful gown. She warned Ella to leave the ball by midnight when the magic would wear off. Ella arrived at the ball, breathtaking in her gown. The prince was captivated by her beauty and kindness. They danced and talked, and Ella felt like she was in a dream. As the clock struck eleven, she remembered her fairy godmother's warning and hurried away, leaving behind a glass slipper. The prince searched the kingdom for the owner of the glass slipper. When he arrived at Ella's house, her stepsisters tried to squeeze their feet into the slipper, but it was too small. Ella's foot fit perfectly, and she revealed herself. The prince was overjoyed and asked her to be his bride. And so, Ella became a princess and lived happily with the prince in the Grand Palace. Her stepmother and stepsisters realized their mistakes, and they all learned to be kind. Ella's kindness and goodness had turned her life from rags to riches, and her story became a tale of hope and love told for generations. Little Red Riding Hood Once upon a time, in a cozy village, lived a sweet girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She got her name from the Red Riding Hood her grandmother had made for her. One day, her mother asked her to take a basket of treats to her sick grandma who lived deep in the forest. Little Red Riding Hood happily set off with her basket. Along the way, she met a sly wolf who asked where she was going. Innocently, she told him about her grandma's house. The wolf, with a plan in mind, hurried ahead. When Little Red Riding Hood reached her grandmother's house, she was surprised to see the door open. She went inside and found her grandma lying in bed, looking strange. Oh, grandma, what big eyes you have, she exclaimed. All the better to see you with, my dear, replied the wolf, cleverly disguising himself. The wolf revealed his true identity and leaped out of bed to gobble up Little Red Riding Hood. Just in the nick of time, a brave woodcutter heard the commotion and rushed in. He swung his axe, saving Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother from the wolf's belly. From that day on, Little Red Riding Hood learned to be cautious and never talk to strangers. She understood the importance of listening to her mother's advice and staying on the path. The wolf's trickery was defeated by the woodcutter's bravery, teaching everyone to watch out for each other in the big wild woods. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs In a land far away, there lived a beautiful princess named Snow White. Her stepmother, the queen, was wicked and jealous of Snow White's beauty. She asked her magic mirror every day, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? And the mirror would always reply, Snow White. Furious, the queen ordered a huntsman to take Snow White into the forest and bring back her heart as proof. The huntsman couldn't do it, so he let Snow White go. Lost and scared, she stumbled upon a little cottage. Inside, she found seven tiny beds and guessed it belonged to seven dwarfs. When the dwarfs returned home, they were surprised to see Snow White. She told them her story, and they kindly let her stay. Snow White and the dwarfs lived together in happiness until the queen discovered Snow White was alive. The queen disguised herself and tricked Snow White with a poisoned apple. The poison put Snow White into a deep sleep, and the dwarfs couldn't wake her up. Thankfully, a prince passing by saw Snow White and kissed her. His kiss broke the spell, and Snow White woke up. She and the prince fell in love. The wicked queen's evil ways caught up with her, 
and she met her own end. Snow White, the prince, and the dwarfs lived in harmony, cherishing each other's company. Snow White's tale taught everyone about kindness, friendship, and the power of true love's kiss. The Three Little Pigs In a cozy meadow, three little pigs named Piggy, Wiggy, and Niggy decided to build houses. Piggy built his house from straw, Wiggy used sticks, and Niggy chose strong bricks. They sang and laughed, proud of their homes. One day, a big bad wolf came to their meadow. He huffed and puffed, and the straw house fell down easily. Piggy ran to Wiggy's stick house for safety. But the wolf blew that house down too, and the two pigs rushed to Niggy's brick house. The wolf couldn't blow down the brick house, no matter how hard he huffed and puffed. He tried to trick Niggy into coming out, but Niggy was clever and stayed inside. The wolf gave up and went away, realizing he couldn't outsmart the third little pig. The three little pigs learned the importance of hard work and making strong choices. They stayed safe in Niggy's brick house, and from that day on, they played and lived happily, knowing that building something strong and reliable would always keep them secure. Beauty and the Beast In a village surrounded by green hills, lived a smart and kind girl named Belle. Belle loved to read and dream about adventures. In the same village, there lived a prince who was selfish and rude. A witch cursed him, turning him into a beast. One day, Belle's father got lost in the forest and found the beast's castle. He picked a rose from the garden as a gift for Belle. The beast was angry and captured Belle's father. Belle offered to take her father's place, and the beast agreed. Belle was scared at first, but the beast's servants, who were also cursed, were kind to her. As time passed, Belle saw past the beast's exterior and discovered his good heart. She taught him to be gentle and kind. A magic mirror showed the beast that Belle's father was sick. He let Belle go, knowing she would return if she loved him. Belle found her father, but the villagers wanted to hurt the beast. Belle realized she loved the beast and returned to the castle. Seeing Belle's love, the curse was broken. The beast turned back into a prince, and the castle's servants became human again. Belle and the prince danced in the grand hall, surrounded by love and happiness. Beauty and the Beast teaches us that beauty lies within, and true love looks beyond appearances. Belle's kindness and love changed the prince, showing us that even the most unlikely friendships can blossom into something beautiful and real. The Ugly Duckling In a quiet pond, a mother duck waited eagerly for her eggs to hatch. When they did, she was surprised to see a duckling that looked different. The other ducklings teased the little one because it was big and awkward. Feeling sad, the duckling decided to leave the pond. It met other animals who were unkind, making it feel even worse. Winter came, and the duckling struggled to find food and shelter. But when spring arrived, it saw beautiful swans swimming on a lake. The duckling approached the swans, hoping to be friends. To its surprise, the reflection in the water showed a graceful swan, not an ugly duckling. It had grown into a beautiful swan itself. The other swans welcomed the new swan with open wings. It felt loved and belonged for the first time. The swan realized that it wasn't ugly, it was just different. From that day on, the swan lived happily among its new friends, never forgetting its journey from an awkward duckling to a magnificent swan. The ugly duckling reminds us that we should never judge based on appearances. People, and ducks, can change and grow, and sometimes, what seems different at first can become something truly special. Jack and the Beanstalk In a small cottage, lived a poor boy named Jack with his mother. They had a cow, but times were tough. One day, Jack was sent to the market to sell the cow. On his way, he met a mysterious man who offered magic beans in exchange for the cow. Excited, Jack took the beans home. 
His mother was angry and threw the beans out of the window. The next morning, they were amazed to see a gigantic beanstalk reaching into the sky. Jack climbed the beanstalk and found himself in a land high above the clouds. There, he discovered a giant's castle. Sneaking in, he found a hen that laid golden eggs and a magical harp that played beautiful tunes. Jack decided to take them and escape. The giant woke up and chased him down the beanstalk. With the harp's music warning him, the giant almost caught Jack. But Jack chopped down the beanstalk, and the giant fell with a crash. The magical items helped Jack and his mother live comfortably. They shared the golden eggs with their neighbors and lived happily ever after. Jack and the Beanstalk teaches us to be careful with deals that seem too good to be true. It also shows that bravery and resourcefulness can lead to unexpected rewards. Jack's adventure reminds us that even in the face of giants, courage can triumph. The Tortoise and the Hare In a green meadow, lived a speedy hare and a slow tortoise. The hare loved to show off and make fun of the tortoise. One day, the hare challenged the tortoise to a race. The animals in the meadow gathered to watch. When the race began, the hare darted ahead, leaving the tortoise far behind. Confident of victory, the hare took a nap under a tree. Meanwhile, the tortoise plodded along steadily, without stopping. When the hare woke up and saw the tortoise nearing the finish line, it raced with all its might. But it was too late. The tortoise crossed the finish line first, winning the race. The other animals cheered for the tortoise's unexpected victory. The tortoise and the hare teaches us that slow and steady efforts can lead to success. It shows us that boasting and overconfidence may not always bring victory. Just like the tortoise, persistence and determination can make us winners in the end. The Gingerbread Man in a cozy kitchen, a woman baked a gingerbread man. As soon as she opened the oven, the gingerbread man jumped out and ran away. The woman and her husband chased after him, but the gingerbread man was too fast. Along the way, he met a cow, a horse, and a pig who all wanted to catch him. But the gingerbread man teased them, saying, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. As he ran, the gingerbread man reached a river. He couldn't swim, so he asked a sly fox for help. The fox agreed to help him cross the river on its back. But as they reached the other side, the fox tossed the gingerbread man into the air and caught him in its mouth, gobbling him up. And just like that, the clever fox had caught the gingerbread man. The Gingerbread Man story reminds us that being too boastful and trusting strangers can lead to unexpected outcomes. It's a tale of caution, showing us that wisdom and being aware of our surroundings are important for staying safe. The Princess and the Pea In a grand kingdom, lived a prince who wanted to find a true princess to marry. Many princesses came to the palace, but the prince couldn't be sure if they were real. One stormy night, a young woman arrived at the palace claiming to be a princess. The queen, curious to test her, placed a tiny pea under twenty mattresses and twenty feather beds. The next morning, she asked the young woman how she had slept. The princess replied that she had a restless night and felt something hard beneath the bed. The prince and the queen knew they had found a real princess because only someone truly sensitive would feel a tiny pea through so many layers of bedding. The prince married the princess, and they lived happily ever after. The princess and the pea story teaches us that sometimes small things can have a big impact. It's a story about finding genuine people, even if their qualities are hidden, and how true qualities can't be hidden for long. The Rainbow Friends In a magical land, colors and feelings were friends. Every color had a special friend with a feeling. Red was friends with love, always spreading warmth. Blue was friends with peace, calming everyone's hearts. One day, the colors noticed that Indigo didn't have a friend. Indigo felt sad, 
thinking no feeling matched. But the other colors knew just the feeling, unity. Together, they formed a rainbow, showing how different colors could come together beautifully. The Magical Paintbrush In a quiet village, there lived a poor artist named May. She had a paintbrush that was said to be magical. Whatever she painted with it came to life. But May was humble and only used the brush for good. One day, a greedy emperor heard about the brush and demanded May to paint gold and jewels for him. When May refused, he took the brush by force. The emperor painted treasures, but they turned into lifeless images. Furious, the emperor ordered May to paint a dragon that would protect his palace. May agreed and painted a dragon, but she secretly used her brush's magic to give it kindness. When the dragon came to life, it befriended May and refused to serve the cruel emperor. The dragon's kindness melted the emperor's heart. He apologized to May and returned the magical brush. May continued to use the brush for good, painting beauty, happiness, and hope for the village. The Kind Star Once upon a time, in a bright sky above, lived a kind and twinkling star named Stella. Stella loved to shine her gentle light on the world below. People on earth would look up and smile at her every night. One day, Stella noticed a sad little bird named Pip. Pip had lost its way while flying south for the winter. Stella decided to help. With a warm sparkle, she sent a soft beam of light to guide Pip back on track. Pip chirped happily, flapped its wings, and followed Stella's light. Soon, it reached its bird friends and joined them on their journey. Stella's heart twinkled with joy. The news about Stella's kindness spread across the night sky. Other stars joined her, each sending a glimmer of light to help those in need. They formed a path of stars that animals could follow whenever they were lost. From that day on, Stella and her star friends continued to shine their lights, helping creatures find their way home. And whenever a baby looked up at the night sky, parents would point to Stella and say, See that kind star? It reminds us to help others, just like she does. And so, the star's kindness lit up the night and warmed the hearts of all who saw it. And they all lived twinklingly ever after. A Whole New World Once upon a time, in the bustling city of Agrabah, there lived a young man named Aladdin. He was an agile and quick-witted street urchin who roamed the marketplace, searching for ways to survive. Though life was tough, Aladdin dreamed of a better future. Agrabah was ruled by a wise but somewhat naive sultan, whose daughter, Princess Jasmine, fell trapped in the palace. She longed for adventure and the chance to experience life beyond the palace walls. One fateful day, while evading the palace guards after a bit of mischievous thievery, Aladdin stumbled upon an old lamp hidden deep within the Cave of Wonders, a mystical place said to hold great treasures. To his astonishment, the lamp contained a magical genie who could grant him three wishes. Aladdin's first wish was to be transformed into a prince, hoping this new identity would allow him to approach Princess Jasmine. With his charm and newfound riches, he managed to enter the palace as Prince Ali. However, he soon realized that true love could not be won through deception. Jasmine, intrigued by the charming newcomer, was drawn to his kindness and authenticity. She and Prince Ali went on a magical carpet ride across the starlit sky, singing and discovering a whole new world together. As Aladdin's feelings for Jasmine grew, he faced a moral dilemma. Should he reveal his true identity as a humble street urchin, or continue the facade of being a prince? He chose honesty, risking everything to tell Jasmine the truth. Jasmine, touched by his sincerity, accepted Aladdin for who he was. Their love transcended social status and palace boundaries, proving that true love was not bound by wealth or titles. However, their happiness was short-lived as the wicked sorcerer Jaffer, who sought to control Agrabah, learned of the lamp's power. Jaffer managed to steal the lamp and used his wishes to become a powerful sorcerer. 
he trapped Aladdin in a treacherous dungeon and forced Jasmine to accept him as her suitor. With the help of his friends, the loyal genie, a mischievous monkey named Abu, and a magic carpet, Aladdin fought to free Jasmine and stop Jaffer's evil plans. In a thrilling showdown, Aladdin outwitted Jaffer, using his final wish to set the genie free. With Agrabah safe from Jaffer's tyranny and the genie now free to explore the world, Aladdin and Jasmine's love could truly flourish. They ruled Agrabah as equals, ensuring the kingdom prospered under their compassionate leadership. And so, Aladdin and Jasmine's love story became a legendary tale of bravery, honesty, and the discovery of a whole new world, one where love conquered all obstacles, proving that even a street-savvy thief could find his place in a princess's heart. Frozen In the kingdom of Arendelle, nestled among snow-capped mountains, lived two royal sisters, Elsa and Anna. Elsa possessed a magical gift, the power to control ice and snow. However, this gift was also a curse, as Elsa struggled to control her abilities, fearing she might harm those she loved. One fateful night, during Elsa's coronation as queen, her emotions spiraled out of control, revealing her powers to the kingdom. In fear, Elsa fled to the mountains, unintentionally plunging Arendelle into eternal winter. Anna, determined to bring her sister back and restore summer to their kingdom, went on a perilous journey. Along the way, she encountered a rugged ice harvester named Kristoff and his loyal reindeer, Sven. Together, they set off to find Elsa and save Arendelle. As they journeyed deeper into the icy wilderness, they met a quirky snowman named Olaf, brought to life by Elsa's magic. Olaf's innocence and warmth provided a contrast to the chilling surroundings. Meanwhile, Elsa, in her secluded ice palace, wrestled with her inner turmoil. She believed that isolating herself was the only way to protect Anna from her powers. Anna's unwavering love for her sister, however, thawed even the coldest of hearts. Back in Arendelle, the situation grew dire as the eternal winter intensified. Hans, a prince who had initially wooed Anna to seize the throne, revealed his true intentions and locked her in a cold room to die. But Anna's sacrifice for her sister's love, freezing her heart to save Elsa, unleashed a powerful magic of its own. It was Anna's act of true love that held the key to breaking the curse. In a climactic moment, her frozen heart began to thaw, and Elsa's powers were finally brought under control. With the curse lifted, Summer returned to Arendelle, and the bond between Elsa and Anna grew stronger than ever. Elsa learned to embrace her gift, using it to bring joy to the kingdom. Anna, too, found love in Kristoff, and Olaf enjoyed the warmth of summer, thanks to Elsa's magic. The story of Elsa and Anna became a legend in Arendelle, a tale of sisterly love triumphing over fear and adversity. The kingdom flourished under their joint rule and the memory of their frozen adventure served as a reminder that love could conquer even the coldest of hearts. And so, in the kingdom of Arendelle, the two sisters lived happily ever after, their hearts forever warmed by the love they shared and the lessons they had learned in their journey through the frozen wilderness. The Little Mermaid In the depths of the ocean, in a magnificent underwater kingdom, lived a young and adventurous mermaid named Ariel. She was the youngest daughter of King Triton, ruler of the seas. Ariel was known for her strikingly beautiful voice and her insatiable curiosity about the world above the waves. Ariel's fascination with the human world was sparked and she rescued Prince Eric from a shipwreck during a fierce storm. Drawn to the surface, she longed to experience life on land and be part of the human world. To help Ariel on her quest, she sought the help of a clever and mischievous crab named Sebastian and a friendly, guppy-sized fish named Flounder. Together, they discovered a sunken ship filled with human treasures, including a statue of Prince Eric. Ariel cherished these objects as her own collection of human wonders. Despite her father's strict warnings about the dangers of the surface world, Ariel couldn't resist her curiosity. She made a daring deal with Ursula the sea witch, 
who offered her a chance to become human for three days in exchange for her voice. Ursula transformed Ariel into a human and left her on the shore near Prince Eric's castle. Voiceless and with legs, Ariel faced many challenges on land, but she also found companionship with Prince Eric's kind and loyal servants. As the days passed, Ariel and Eric developed a deep connection, although Ariel couldn't speak to tell him her true identity. However, Ursula, ever scheming, used Ariel's voice to enchant Prince Eric into believing that she was the one who had saved him from the shipwreck. Ariel's time on land was running out, and Ursula's plan seemed to be succeeding. With the help of her underwater friends and her determination, Ariel thwarted Ursula's wicked plot during a dramatic battle at sea. In the end, Ursula was defeated, and Ariel's voice was restored. She and Eric confessed their love for each other, proving that true love transcends the boundaries of the sea and land. King Triton, witnessing the strength of Ariel's love, granted her a human life, allowing her to marry Eric. Ariel and Eric celebrated their love with a grand wedding on the shores of the kingdom, bringing together the worlds of the sea and land in harmony. Ariel's journey from the depths of the ocean to the world above became a legendary tale of courage, curiosity, and the power of love. Her story served as a reminder that sometimes, to find your voice and your true self, you must be willing to take a leap of faith into the unknown. And so, Ariel and Eric lived happily ever after, their love story forever etched in the hearts of both the ocean and the land. Mulan In ancient China, during a time of great turmoil and conflict, there lived a young woman named Mulan. She was the daughter of a respected warrior, but her true calling went far beyond traditional gender roles. Mulan's family had high expectations for her to bring honor to their name by marrying well and upholding their family's reputation. However, Mulan's spirit burned with a fierce determination to serve her country and protect her loved ones. When the emperor issued a decree conscripting one man from every family to join the imperial army to defend against invading Huns, Mulan saw an opportunity. Disguised as a young man, she took her father's place in the army, going by the name Ping. Mulan's journey in the army was fraught with challenges, as she struggled to keep her true identity hidden while proving herself as a capable warrior. She trained tirelessly, honing her combat skills alongside her comrades, including the spirited Mushu, a tiny dragon who served as her guardian and confidant. As Mulan and her fellow soldiers faced the ruthless Hun leader, Shan Yu, they discovered the importance of teamwork, courage, and honor. Mulan's quick thinking and resourcefulness were instrumental in saving the army and ultimately the entire kingdom. During their mission, Mulan developed a close friendship with her comrade, Captain Li Shang, who was initially unaware of her true identity. As they faced danger together and learned to trust one another, their bond deepened into a profound connection. Eventually, Mulan's secret was revealed, but instead of punishment, her bravery and dedication earned her the respect of her fellow soldiers and the admiration of the emperor himself. She was hailed as a hero who had brought honor not only to her family but to all of China. With the threat of the Huns vanquished and peace restored, Mulan returned home. She had defied tradition, shattered gender stereotypes, and proven that one's true worth was not determined by their gender but by their heart and spirit. Mulan's story became a legendary tale of courage and determination, a reminder that honor could be found in unexpected places and that anyone, regardless of their background, could make a significant impact on the world. And so, Mulan's legacy lived on, inspiring generations with her extraordinary journey of self-discovery, bravery, and the enduring power of honor. Moana In the heart of the Pacific Ocean, on the lush island of Mutunui, lived a spirited and adventurous young girl named Moana. She was drawn to the ocean's beauty and mystery, even though her people forbade venturing beyond the safety of the reef. Moana, however, felt a deep connection to the sea, a calling she couldn't ignore. As Moana grew older, she learned from her grandmother, Tala, about the ancient legend of Te Fiti, a goddess who created all life and brought balance to the world with the magical heart of Te Fiti. 
this heart was stolen by the demigod Maui, leading to environmental decay and darkness spreading across the islands. When Motunui's resources began to wither and darkness encroached upon her island, Moana realized she had a destiny to fulfill. Guided by her grandmother's wisdom and her own determination, she set sail on a daring voyage to find Maui and restore the heart of Te Fiti. Moana's journey was fraught with danger, but she was not alone. She was accompanied by the mischievous and shape-shifting demigod, Maui, who initially sought to steal her boat and return to his former glory. However, as they faced formidable challenges together, including a giant lava monster, Tamatoa, and the relentless forces of nature, their bond deepened. Along the way, Moana discovered her own inner strength and determination. She learned to navigate the seas, read the stars, and trust her instincts. Her connection to the ocean, which she affectionately called Te Ka, empowered her to overcome obstacles and confront her fears. With Maui's help, Moana finally reached Te Fiti, only to find the goddess had been consumed by darkness and despair. Moana's unwavering belief in the goodness of the world, her love for her people, and her determination to restore the heart led to a climactic battle against the darkness. In a moment of selflessness, Maui used his powers to help Moana reach Te Fiti's heart, but he was gravely wounded in the process. Moana's love and compassion for Maui, coupled with her bravery, allowed her to restore the heart, bringing light and life back to the world. As Moana returned to Motunui, she shared the lessons she had learned about the importance of self-discovery, following one's heart, and caring for the environment. Her people, once wary of the ocean, embraced it once more, recognizing its beauty and abundance. Moana's epic journey became a legendary tale, reminding her people and all who heard it that the call of adventure, the love for the natural world, and the strength of one's heart could overcome even the darkest of challenges. And so, Moana continued to navigate the seas, serving as a guardian of her island and a beacon of hope for those who longed to explore the vast, uncharted ocean. Her story would be told for generations, a testament to the enduring spirit of exploration and the harmony between humanity and the natural world. Princess Tiana In the vibrant city of New Orleans, where jazz music filled the air and the aroma of Creole cuisine wafted through the streets, there lived a young woman named Tiana. She was known for her unwavering determination and dream of opening her own restaurant, a place where she could share her love for cooking with the world. Tiana's dreams were deeply rooted in her childhood. Her father had instilled in her the values of hard work and dedication, teaching her that with determination and a little magic, dreams could come true. He often told her about the evening star, a symbol of hope that watched over them from the night sky. However, Tiana's dreams were put on hold as she tirelessly worked multiple jobs to save money for her restaurant. She knew that success would require sacrifices, even if it meant putting aside personal aspirations. One fateful evening, during a masquerade ball in the heart of the city, Tiana encountered a charming prince named Naveen, who had been transformed into a frog by a wicked witch doctor named Dr. Fasilier. Desperate to break the spell, Naveen mistook Tiana for a princess, believing a kiss from royalty would restore him. In an unexpected turn of events, Tiana herself was transformed into a frog after a kiss with Naveen. Together, they embarked on a perilous journey through the mystical bayous of Louisiana, accompanied by a trumpet-playing alligator named Louis and a firefly named Ray. As they navigated the treacherous swamp, Tiana and Naveen faced numerous challenges, including the sinister shadows of Dr. Fasilier, who sought to steal their souls. Along the way, they discovered the importance of friendship, love, and learning to find joy in life's simple pleasures. Ray, the firefly, played a crucial role in their adventure, guiding them with his unwavering belief in the magic of love and the power of the evening star. His radiant spirit and love for the star became a symbol of hope for Tiana and Naveen. With Ray's guidance, Tiana and Naveen confronted Dr. Fasilier and broke his dark magic, allowing them to return to their human forms. 
they realized that true wealth was not measured in material possessions but in the love and friendships they had forged during their journey. Tiana's dream of opening her restaurant became a reality, and she shared the joy of her culinary creations with the people of New Orleans. Her restaurant, named Tiana's Palace, became a place of warmth, music, and delicious food, embodying the spirit of the city she loved. Tiana's story became a tale of perseverance, love, and the fulfillment of dreams through hard work and determination. Her journey from a determined waitress to a beloved princess showcased the power of believing in oneself and never losing sight of one's dreams, even in the face of adversity. And so, in the heart of New Orleans, the city of dreams and music, Tiana and Naveen celebrated their love and the realization of their dreams, their story forever illuminated by the light of the evening star. Thank you so much for listening. Remember, listening to stories is a good way to enhance your English listening skills. Whether you're improving your vocabulary, honing your comprehension, or getting used to different accents, these stories offer a valuable learning experience. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to this ESL channel for more engaging content.